गैस लॉस द थर्मल एक्सपेंशन इन गैसेस इज क्वाइट लार्ज व्हेन कंपेयर्ड टू सॉलिड्स एंड लिक्विड्स व्हेन सम एक्सटर्नल प्रेशर इज अप्लाइड द वॉल्यूम ऑफ अ गैस चेंजेस अप्रिशिएबली व्हाइल द वेरिएशन इन द वॉल्यूम ऑफ सॉलिड्स and liquids is negligibly small and can be ignored for practical purposes in order to describe a gas we require three quantities namely pressure volume and temperature when any one of these variables changes the others are bound to undergo variations we shall study about the relation between any two variables when the third is kept constant in the form of three gas laws The three gas laws are Boyle's law, Charles law, and Gay-Lussac's law. Boyle's law. Robert Boyle, an English physicist, investigated the effect of pressure on a given mass of a gas. He found that the volume of a given mass of a gas at constant temperature varies inversely with pressure. The illustration shown here will help you to understand this law. The mathematical representation of Boyle's law is PV is equal to a constant. That is, if V is the volume of a given mass of the gas subjected to a pressure P at a constant temperature, then V is inversely proportional to the pressure applied, or V is equal to K1 by P, where K is the constant of proportionality. This can be written as PV is equal to a constant, or P1V1 is equal to P2V2 is equal to P3V3. This indicates that if pressure is doubled, the volume will be halved. The graph between P and V is not a straight line. It is a rectangular parabola. Charles Lowe A.C. Charles studied the variation in volume of a gas with temperature and experimentally established that the volume of a given mass of a gas changes by a constant fraction of its volume at 0 degree Celsius for every 1 degree Celsius variation in temperature. This relation is called the law of volume or Charles' law. It states that the volume of a given mass of gas increases or decreases by 1 by 273.15 of its volume at 0 degree Celsius for each degree Celsius rise or fall in temperature at constant pressure. The illustration shown here will help you to understand this law. The mathematical representation of Charles' law is V by T is equal to V0 by T0 is equal to a constant. The graph between V and T at constant pressure is a straight line and must ideally pass through the origin. But the experimental graph shows a variation. Gay-Lussac's Law Gay-Lussac experimentally studied the variation of pressure of a gas with temperature. According to Gay-Lussac, the pressure of a given mass of a gas decreases or increases by a constant fraction of its pressure at 0 degree Celsius for every 1 degree Celsius fall or rise in temperature, provided its volume remains constant. The illustration shown here will help you to understand this law. 
If P0 and P denote pressure of a given mass of a gas at 0 degree Celsius and theta degree Celsius respectively, then the mathematical representation of Gay-Lussac's law is P by T is equal to P0 by T0 is equal to a constant. Thus, the pressure of a given mass of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature provided its volume remains constant. The graph between P and T is a straight line theoretically. Perfect Gas Law most of the gases are found to obey Charles' law and Boyle's law approximately within fairly wide limits of pressure and temperature. We therefore conclude that an ideal gas should be the one which obeys both the laws accurately. Hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen and helium may be treated as perfect gases. Other gases show greater deviations from these laws. On the basis of the Charles and Boyle's laws, the perfect gas equation is deduced. The equation PV is equal to RT is known as perfect gas equation.